Good morning guys and welcome back to another episode with First Mate Adventures. This one's a little bit special for us today. This is the COVID-19 food gathering special. That's right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a feed so you don't have to fight in those supermarkets. Gonna need a couple of little tools, but I'll show you what we use and hopefully we can produce some fish and that way you can do it without having to deal with everyone else. Stay tuned and wait until you see what happens. So I take a moment to enjoy this sunrise. You know, the world is in so much turmoil right now. It's so much confusion going on, but Mother Nature still turns on a show. Check this out. Like, where do you see that? Besides getting up really early like this, this is ridiculous. I gotta wait a little bit longer for that sun to come up before we can actually uh, start fishing for what we're targeting. But first, I suppose I better show you what we're going to use. That way, you know how to do it. Gorgeous, bro. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's flat. Wow. All right, guys, as promised, I'm going to show you what we use. So on this rod, we're going to use, I think that's a Rapala X-Wrap as a deep diver. Pretty heavy tackle for what we're going to do. Then we've got the standard traditional jet head on the uh, Daiwa Saltus and the Ugly Stick. And then I think I bought this from BCF, I think it's a little Kato lure, but it seems to work okay on the uh, little fin or combo there. So obviously with that kind of setup, we're going to be targeting bonito, kingfish, salmon, basically pelagics in and around the rocks. I've hooked some other weird things uh, which should be feeding on the bottom on the surface, but today that's our target species. So let's, I suppose, get the lures in the water and see what happens. turbulent water is uh, is where you'll find your fish they'll be feeding on the little fish that can't seem to quite support themselves uh, in the rough water oh there we go and fish on just like that oh two two oh so close to me in a second let's just keep him going here we'll let him run we'll let him run see if we can't get his mate oh there you go see just like clockwork oh and the sound is lit up with fish whoa he's going for a run all right do something about this. We're gonna switch cameras. All right, so we switched cameras, but a bit of an issue. This second right here in the middle is getting harassed as well. So I don't know whether I should stop, get this fish in, or whether we should just continue and see if we can't get a double. It's so confusing, but the sounder is absolutely lit up with fish. At any rate, I actually think, whoa, I think we might actually just get this guy in and keep fishing. Amazing. Now the trick here, guys, is to keep the boat in gear, just idling forward. 
you've still got your lures out. Remember we mentioned that deep diver? He's still there swimming along, slow and steady. Very much able to be eaten. The, po the popper on the top there at the back, not so much. But at least, given this chance, I don't actually have to clear any gear, it's fantastic. Just keep idling forward slowly. Obviously this is much easier with other people. But, here we go. Fish is coming up. I'm hoping it's a bonito. Hoping it's a bonito. I can feel those tail thumps, typical of a tuna. Now bonito are a part of the tuna family. Oh, there he is there. See that those taps in the rod tip, guys? That's a typical bonito tap. Now I haven't seen him. Well, oh, there he is. Oh, and it is exactly what we came here for, guys. It is a bonito, which is fantastic. Come here, buddy. There you have it, guys. As simple as that. Now these are great for everything from steaks to sashimi. Though I'll probably be corrected on that if I've said that wrong. Ah, but absolutely beautiful. Now, ideally guys, you'd want to bleed these to get the most out of the flesh, but that's all right. Uh, I won't show you that part, but we're, uh, we're gonna do it. There you go. It's exactly what we came here for. You! Hey, hey guys, so, uh, I was gonna turn around, but I didn't have to because we're pushing up in this corner again. All right, let's just slow him up. Getting surfing out the back there. I think there might be one on there too, judging by the way that rod's pulsating. something he was eating. I wanted to show you, but I think we're using the right gear. Look at that, beautiful. Let's go get another one. <laughs> well, as predicted, this one has one too. Now remember, this was that deep diver, guys. about continually driving forward as I'm actually looking at you I'm looking beyond at the sounder ah, I just popped him just popped him but the sounder is absolutely lit up with fish again so I don't think it'll be long before we get another one how exciting is this now guys it's absolutely paramount to pay attention to your sounder and your GPS as you can see the results so far have been well proving exactly what I wanted to show you guys so we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep fishing. There's two lures, well actually, well there's two lures that are working. The one right out the back, I don't know what's going on with him. That's that little popper, green popper thing. Oh, we've just marked more bait. This could turn serious pretty quick. But uh, that's all we're doing. So I'm running straight back up that line again, straight back over the, oh, good fish, good fish. Straight back over the top of the fish and uh, let's see what happens. But I'm a little bit disappointed on that, uh, on that lure out the back there, I don't know what's going on. I mean, he's doing everything, he's popping, he's carrying on. Maybe it's just the colour. I don't know. Maybe he looks too aggressive. Doesn't matter. Oh, yep, there we go. Good fish. Good fish right there. All right, GoPro number two is going on. And we're in. Woohoo! Oh, man. Where fishing with other people really does make a difference. Ooh, it's coming at us. 
He's coming at us. Oh, oh. Good fish. Good bonito. Have a go up the size of that one, guys. Now, guys, as you saw, I'm using a deep diver on this one. There's two treble hooks. Got to be very, very careful. And the sounder is lit up again. This is crazy. I wonder if I put a little bit more pace on it. There's no one in front of me, so it's safe. Put a little bit more pace on it, and I wonder if we'll hook up again. The drag will definitely tell you when you got a fish, just like now. We'll just turn that off for now. You don't need to be listening to that the entire time. How exciting is this though, guys, kids? Parents, families, everyone can do this and it doesn't cost that much to do. You don't have to use expensive gear. Oh, no. Did I, did I lose it? No, he's still there. You don't have to use expensive gear. You just have to use the right gear. If you take your time, just like this, you'll catch so many fish, you'll go home with sore arms. Coming up now, guys. Oh, he might have changed his mind. Okay, he's over the top of that line, so we'll just quickly do the old shuffle. And he's come over this side of the boat, which is fantastic. Let's see if we can get a shot of him in the water, eh? Another Bonito, guys. Again, exactly what we're targeting. Look at that. Actually pretty good size too. Woo! He's a fat one. He's been feeding, that's for sure. How's that for a bonito? All right, same again, and the sounder is lit up again. Now guys, we've hooked up a fish, but the location that I'm in is not very safe. So I'm gonna push myself around this corner so that we don't uh, get it hung up on the rocks. And, uh, and then I can deal with the fish, but as you can see, it's that rod in the corner there. It's just safety, guys. Probably if you're doing this, pay attention more to the rock where you're driving to then your rods it's common sense guys you got to be safe